CSR Europe has created a platform for CSR leadership in Europe and I think that's incredibly valuable to be part of that, to be seen as a company that wants to lead innovation, lead engagement in our communities um, and really look at how business can play a very active part in building the future society. So it's a very positive thing to do. So sustainability has always been built into the way that IBM does its business. We've always had a sense of being part of the community and that the community is an important part of how we build our success. So if you look back in IBM, we've always led on what I would call a social progress. We've looked at how we have a very positive attitude to engaging women and employing women in our workforce. Back in 1975, we looked at how um, the um, environmental aspects of our business had an impact and we looked at how we could manage those. So basically we're an, in, we're an innovation business and innovating in all aspects of our business has really been what sustained us for a long time and part of that is being part of the society and uh, delivering to our social commitments in an integrated way with our business. So that integration of corporate social responsibility into our business and the way that we work is really what has um, sustained us for 100 years and we think is the platform to build our next 100 years of success. Well, um, obviously, you know, as we look at 2020 now, um, there are very big um, challenges for everyone. There's a lot of um, change uh, in the global economy and a lot of social shifts that are associated uh, with that. Um, one of the big changes, of course, is the impact of technology, the explosion of the internet um, and the uh, ability to gather information um, about um, you know, so many things um, is really a, a force and a driver for change. So as we look at globalization, it creates opportunities for us in new markets. Um, it creates all sorts of new needs about solving some of the big problems. So the problems around um, resource scarcity, the problems around how you manage urbanization um, are really, really significant issues where actually technology can help because we now have the capability through sensors, through um, the availability of the internet for a lot of information to be gathered. And the really important thing then where we think that IBM can contribute is turning that information into intelligence and applying that intelligence to help find the new solutions to these really significant global changes. So whether you're looking at how you um, help the traffic flow around the city, whether you're looking at um, optimizing the transportation of goods around the world, or if you're looking at um, healthcare and how you get healthcare out to all the population so that everybody has access to it. Technology and the, um, the intelligence that you can get from the information really has an important uh, place. So we see it as um, a real opportunity uh, for our business um, to address the sort of challenges that um, you know, really are there for us as a society. So it's a challenging time, but it's also a time of opportunity. As you know, um, more and more of the population is moving into cities these days and that brings incredible pressures um, uh, onto on the quality of life uh, in cities. So, um, you know, cities have a lot of challenge about how to optimise their services for citizens um, and how to make their, um, the cities nice places to live and efficient places to live. So, um, you know, helping cities uh, deal with these challenges um, and working with, you know, working with other partners. So working with the energy sector on um, how do you improve uh, the energy uh, for a city? How do you actually help um, deliver the extra energy that's, that's needed through um, smart metering um, and other kinds of measures um, you know, is really important. How you look at having a, a, an integrated education system that um, uh, can, you, know, you, you can use so that you optimise the resources that are there in education and training. Again, um, you know, the, an information uh, technology platform and the sharing uh, of, of knowledge uh, through that can, can be uh, you know, extremely valuable. But 
planning, uh, I think one of, the, one, of the most, one of the biggest challenges for cities is how do they plan their services? Because you've got the fire services, the police, you've got the traffic, you've got your education. How do you bring together all the information that you have um, and that you need to deliver those services in an integrated format is something that we think is very exciting. So IBM has looked now at an integrated operations centre that will help cities actually make themselves uh, more efficient and deliver better services for their citizens. Um, and that's a really exciting uh, uh, new development that we started in, uh, in Brazil, actually in Rio, um, and other cities are learning from that. Well, I think, I think with Enterprise 2020, we're looking at you know, what's, what's the company of the future going to be like? And I think from a CSI Europe point of view, we're saying how do we integrate our business with the rest of society to meet these challenges that, you know, resource scarcity, changing demographics, um, you know, all the sorts of things that are, um, that are of concern. Um, and um, I think one of the things we understand is nobody can do this alone. Government can't do it alone. Business can't do it alone. The NGO sector um, you know, um, can solve some of the problems but really can't do it alone. So I think the, the, for me, CSR Europe is a platform for collaboration. Um, and I think what we want to do now is to really look at innovation, look at different ways of partnering, look at some uh, ways that we can address some challenges together across government, across business, integrating other partners um, and finding some, some new solutions and some new ways of delivering things. So for me, um, Enterprise 2020 and IBM's engagement will be about um, finding new ways to do things with new partners. Well, I think, you know, it's a, it's a, very, it's a very exciting time and um, uh, you know, the next generation is growing up with technology um, and uh, I, I, think, I think what's um, interesting, we, we, had, we do um, annual surveys um, through, our, um, through our consulting business and one of the things we did last year was to ask um, uh, CEOs of companies what they saw as the biggest challenges um, and at the same time we did a parallel survey and we asked a younger generation of um, students who are studying for their MBAs and in and university what did they see were the biggest challenges and there was a difference and the key differences were around um, the importance that the younger generation saw about the globalization trends and the significance they attached to um, the resource scarcity that's coming out of um, uh, some environmental change. So I think you know the young generation is very innovative. It's got some great ideas um, around um, uh, how to do things differently using technology. So looking at how we deal with resource scarcity, how we address some of the challenges coming out of environmental change, um, I think is a very exciting opportunity.